Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First look at the headlines. Vishwajit Rane offers to resign if NGOs prove charges against him. A Prudent Media exclusive. Health Minister directs Health Department to provide extra isolation ward at GMC for swine flu patients. Goa Police alert tourism industry meet hotel, casino and cruise owners to install metal detectors at their installations. Western Ghats Eye World Natural Habitat Status Central Government increases World's Wildlife Habitat Fund to 4 crore rupees. Goa celebrates World Population Day. Statistics say state population increased by almost 85% in last 40 years. And Goa's new coach Rajesh Kamat holds first interaction with state cricketers. Now the news in detail. Health Minister Vishwajit Rane has said he is prepared to resign if NGOs prove that he is involved in a land scam. In an exclusive interview with our news editor Pramod Acharya, Vishwajit slammed NGOs for falsely involving him in a land scam. He has also told the NGOs that he doesn't want any advice from them on how to run his department. He admitted that he focuses more on Satari but refused the charge that he gives stepmotherly treatment to other constituencies. He stressed that he recruits people purely on the basis of merit and not on the basis of constituencies. So Why the NGOs are against you? I have no clue. You'll have to ask the NGOs because I have no role to play with the NGOs. I do what tells my conscience tells me to do. Hmm. I can challenge these NGOs that ever a resort comes in my tenure as a health minister, I will give my resignation to chief minister in 24 hours. Why are people from Goa still going out of Goa for treatment? The NGO should answer this question. And NGOs should actually not get into what is genuine and what deals with the health of the people. Sattari is not a Amdar Manun, Mandri Manun. Sattari is not a Amdar Manun, no. 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 And definitely, Akhya Goi is not a Amdar Manun, no. Sattari is not a Amdar Manun, no. But I am not a Amdar Manun, no. Sattari is not a Amdar Manun, no. दूसरे कड़े दुर्लक्ष जाऊचे ना। I am a quite a very stern person. Administratively, I am very focused on what I want to do, and I have an advisory council. The other day, when I wanted a suggestion to put up a medical college, I floated the idea that why not? But they said don't do it because it will harm Goa Medical College. Yeah, scripted. Health Minister Vishwajit Rane on Saturday directed Health Secretary to immediately create extra isolation ward for swine flu patients at Goa Medical College. This decision was taken after health department confirmed that the friends and family members of second swine flu patients are experiencing swine flu-like symptoms. Health department recently confirmed second swine flu case in Goa. As a precautionary measure, health department is gearing up to provide enough infrastructure to treat the swine flu patients at GMC. We are also above the orthopedic ward in the Goa Medical College. Uh, we have got a, we are trying to create an isolated ward uh, for swine flu patients and with sufficient staff will be deputed there and I have asked the secretary to personally inspect it today evening. Medical superintendent has already been informed. I shall also be speaking to the Dean Goa Medical College to personally look into this issue. Health Minister Vishwajit Rane has already instructed Health Secretary to create extra isolation ward at GMC. Rane also directed Director of Health Services Dr. Rajananda Desai to submit the detailed report and ask Health Secretary to personally monitor the situation. Uh, who are these people? Where have they travelled in the last few days? And Secretary Health, I just discussed with him that he should personally monitor these uh, patient people who have been identified and quarantine them if necessary after the doctors certify that they need to be quarantined. Health Department has decided to increase the checking of all international travel landing at Dabodi Airport. We will also enhance and strengthen the checks at the airport and we will try to see what the government uh, uh, of Maharashtra is doing at the international airport and similar uh, facilities and set up along with necessary forms and uh, checks of people thoroughly of people coming into Goa uh, will be done. Basically, this is exclusively for international travellers at the moment. We have not thought of anything as far as domestic travellers are concerned. Swine flu influenza is caused due to swine or pigs. Transmission of swine influenza virus from pigs to human is not common and does not always cause human influenza. The meat of the animal possesses no risk of transmitting the virus when properly cooked. Symptoms of swine flu are Headache, chills, cough, 
fever, loss of appetite, aches, fatigue, runny nose, sneezing, watery eyes, throat irritation, diarrhea. In people with chronic conditions, pneumonia may develop. Precautions that can be taken against swine flu are Get regular seasonal flu vaccination. Wash your hands frequently with soap and hot running water. When you cough and sneeze, cover your mouth and nose. Avoid being near others who might be sick. Stay home if you are sick to avoid affecting others. Second case of swine flu was detected in Goa on Thursday. State epidemiologist Rajan Tamba cleared that the sad patient was recovering. But now the family and the friends of the patient are suffering from flu. One more passenger from Germany is also under scanner. Swap samples of this suspected flu patients and the German passenger has been sent to Delhi for confirmation on swine flu. A senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kandorkar, principal correspondent Murari Shetie with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi for Prudent Media. Goa police alerted the people involved in tourism industry to be aware and identify the suspected terrorists who might try to disrupt peace and harmony in Goa. A meeting to discuss the security aspects of the peoples involved in tourism industry was held in Panji on Saturday. Police department has urged the hotel owners and cruise owners to put metal detectors in their outlets. Police department directed the hotel owners, casino owners and cruise owners regarding the safety measures and precautions that need to be taken to avoid terror attack in Goa. SDPO Panji Gajanan Prabhudesai gave this information at the meeting. So today we held a meeting of these hoteliers and also the boat cruise people. Just to see the review the security arrangements in connection with the 15 day August. And that is Independence Day parade and all. And also to review the oncoming season arrangements. So now season will be approaching by another three, four months minimum. So just to review, review it, we had a meeting. Like earlier only, earlier we had told them to take all those precautions. Checking of, suppose your guests are coming in, how to check them. What are the precautions to be taken before checking in the guest? Any suspicious movements or anything, that all to be noted down. And if any help is required from our side, we should be immediately intimated. So accordingly, we will do it. Police department alerted every individual to be cautious with regards to the terror threat to the state. Department has advised not to rely only on the police force, but to take basic necessary precautions. They have also hinted that the state tourism industry might be hit by terror activities. Police department has informed that they will be meeting the travel agencies, tourist vehicle owners and fishing trawler owners regarding the growing terror threat to Goa. A reporter from Panji Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Yashwan Parab for Prudent Media. Come 2010 and Western Ghats would probably find its name in UNESCO's Natural Heritage Sites list. The appeal of Indian government asking for inclusion of Western Ghats in Natural Heritage List would probably save this bio spot from human greed. In another major development, central government has increased funding for Goa's wildlife habitat from 5 lakh to 4 crore in just span of two years. Western Ghats in peninsular India is home to some of the rarest and endemic species of the world. With lush green forest and water resources, the region is noted to be one of the most precious biosport of the world. But in recent past, large tracts of land is getting disappeared due to human encroachments and developmental works. In 2006, Government of India made an appeal with United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, better known as UNESCO, for including name of Western Ghats in natural heritage lists of the world. Reports indicate that new heritage